Hey guys, this is John, and I'm here with Grandmaster Benjamin Bach from the Netherlands, the winner of the 2015 London Chess Classic FIDE Open. How are you doing, Benjamin? Awesome. So uh, I also got an interview with Eric, and you guys just finished playing the, the Super Rapid Play Open. Uh, how did that tournament go for you? Uh, that went uh, uh, much less uh, well. I think I relaxed uh, a bit after I won the FIDE Open, and uh, the FIDE Open I really wanted to win, and I saw the Rapid as a bit of a bonus, so I was a bit much less motivated, I could say. But, yeah, I mean, losing, losing is never a nice thing. Right, okay. And how did you feel about your play in the FIDE Open? Obviously, you won the tournament with 8 out of 9, awesome performance. Did you feel like you played well throughout, or were there any close calls in any games? Uh, yeah, there were certainly... Uh, I think I was very lucky against Posting to escape, mm -hmm. and also against Keith Oracle. I was actually a bit... It was actually worse to move before the end, but uh, you suddenly allowed uh, mate. And uh, so I think yeah, those were rounds five and six, and those really helped me uh, kind of, they gave me a nice, nice little push. But I, I think I also uh, capitalized on the momentum that I tried to, uh, to keep winning and uh, try to win the tournament. Yeah, definitely. I was certainly impressed when you beat me in round seven. I thought you had good chances to go on and win the event. So, And then you followed up with a win against Eric Hansen in the next round. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. You're how old? I'm 20. Okay, 20 years old. So I have a, a pretty uh, large North American audience, and I think a lot of players might not know you. Uh, are you a professional player? Uh, yes. I, I finished uh, my school in 2013. Mm -hmm. After I uh, started completely focusing on uh, chess, and uh, I've had a yeah a few good tournaments before, but this is like by far my biggest success. So I'm very very happy with it. Awesome, yeah. So winning a big international open, yeah, yeah it must be a great feeling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you're from the Netherlands. Do you like train with a lot of Dutch players? Are you part of the national team? Uh, no, I'm not uh, part of the, the national team. That's uh, my goal. I want to be on the team at the Baku uh, 2016 Olympia. Mm -hmm. And I think I made now nice. Uh, I improved my rating quite a bit to, uh, to join the team, so that's nice. Yeah, so I think you've been over 2600 before, is that correct? Uh, yes, that's true. Actually, I played. Uh, I played the tournament in Norway one and a half years ago, and uh, I was on five and a half out of seven, and my rating virtually was 26.15. Ah. But it all started going uh, wrong when I lost to uh, the American GM uh, Sam Shankland. Mm. And actually, this year my rating dropped to 25.54. That was really like uh, the. Uh, lowest uh, yeah, rating of the uh, last, few, last uh, few years, and, uh, but I managed to come back somehow, and this, uh, and now I crossed 2600 uh, by quite a bit, so yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Awesome. It seems to me like a lot of the Dutch players are pretty close, like I imagine you're friends with Geary, uh, Erwin Lamy, Robin van Kampen, all those guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're all having a good relation. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So, what's it like being a like a professional chess player in Europe? Because me coming from the states, and I'm just an I am. I'm not a professional player, but I come here and I just see. There's. It seems like there's so much competition. You've got guys who are very good players, but maybe not necessarily 2650 or 2700, and you regularly have to play them and try to beat them in tournaments. Um, it seems like a, a tough way to to make a living. Um, yeah, I must say that I, uh, I still live at my uh, my parents' place, so mm -hmm. I um, kind of uh, it's not like I have to survive, let's say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this uh, definitely also the, the price is uh, is quite nice. Uh, I mean, I can invest it in my uh, in my chest for. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, it's, uh, there are a lot of tournaments in Europe. And, uh, Do you play leagues? Uh, yes, I play the Dutch league, the Belgian league, and I play in the second Bundesliga in Germany. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with leagues, you can also uh, it also helps a bit uh, financially. Do you teach at all, or do any other chess-related activities? Uh, no, not, not, not at all. Okay. Cool, cool. So what are your ambitions as a player? Is there a certain rating you're trying to get to, or goal you want to achieve? Um, well, I, like, uh, I just wanted to, like, for now, I wanted to, to cross 2600, and I achieved that, and uh, I also wanted to win the tournament, so I also did that. But now I want to uh, I want to get in the Dutch team. I think I'll need about 26, 25, let's say. Then I'm more or less sure of my place. And after, yeah, we'll try to get to uh, 2650. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, later on I can make it to 2700. I don't know uh, how far I can still go. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And you're definitely close to that 26, 25 mark. And it seems to me like your nerves are very well, uh, are very good. I know when we were playing, you were down on the clock uh, for a little bit, and also I saw in some of your other games you were behind on time, especially I think your game with Lenderman, you might have been behind on the clock a bit, but you handle yourself very well and it never seems like you get too nervous. Uh, yeah, I must say that, uh, that maybe that was the, the key for me this moment. I was quite uh, relaxed, and even when I was in, uh, even when I had not so much time on the clock, I still kept uh, cool and yeah, try to find good moves and um, yeah. Oh, I must say the the last game against Landerman was well, that was probably the most nervous game for me because okay, uh, actually also a draw would have, have been a good result for me because I would have been uh, shared first for sure and I would have had a very good chance to, to win the tournament. Uh, so it's and, and also the game was a bit of a waiting game for a long time. So you're kind of making moves and it's not so clear where, where it's heading. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I must say this tournament I've been quite uh, relaxed. Like, maybe in the first few rounds, maybe it was a bit nervous. I don't recall actually, but uh, yeah, I, I had a pretty pretty good feeling about this tournament. So according to Benjamin, just take it easy, relax, don't get too nervous about your games and everything will work out fine. <laughs> it's good. So since we're at the London Chess Classic and the playoff for the entire tournament and the Grand Chess Tour is going on right now, are there any particular players you, as basically a 2600 player, look up to in World Chess? Is there anyone clearly that stands out that you enjoy their games? Uh, yeah, definitely uh, the games of... Uh Carlson, I would say. I mean, he's really, uh, really above the rest. There's no doubt about that. And uh, I must say that I uh, also admire uh, Hikaru Nakamura's fighting spirit. Mm. And um, yeah, so I guess uh, I, I guess those two. Uh, but yeah, mostly, sure, the, like the pure chess part, uh, I would say Carlson. Yeah, but okay, I guess that's for a lot of people the case. Did you see his end game the other day against Nakamura? Two bishops versus two knights? Uh, actually, I, I uh, only saw a bit of the end. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when you're playing a tournament yourself, you don't follow the games uh, <laughs> so much. But uh, yeah, also the game against. Topov, he kept on creating problems and uh, yeah, he still got uh, got something out of the end game, but it wasn't enough, unfortunately for him. Mm -hmm. So what's your next tournament? I play in the I play in Qatar. So okay, so, that, so to round out the year, a pretty tough open yeah. event. Cool. Well, we certainly wish you the best of luck there, and congratulations once again on your excellent win in this event. And how can people follow you? You have a Twitter. Can they follow you there? Uh, uh, Twitter uh, account. Uh, it's uh, Benjamin underscore uh, Rock. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so they can uh, follow me there. I'm not too active, I must say, but uh, <laughs> maybe 
maybe I, I should uh, get a bit more uh, active because I'm lagging a bit behind with uh, other GMs with uh, followers and so on. Yeah, definitely, and I think winning this tournament is going to raise your profile for sure. And someone, uh, when I posted the analysis video of our game, someone suggested that you should go by the nickname the Boxster if you don't if you don't already. So you should you should think about that. I have a lot of uh, yeah, most people call me a uh, Bark because it's it's uh, easy and short. But uh, yeah, Boxster, um, who knows? <laughs> Rolls off the tongue nicely. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. Congratulations once again. Thanks for the interview, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Hopefully, see you again soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye. Bye.